Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. In response to American landings on Guadalcanal in early August, the Japanese began rushing reinforcements to dislodge the U.S. toehold. A huge Japanese invasion fleet, consisting of three carriers, eight battleships, numerous transports, and other vessels, was dispatched to the island on August 23rd. They were engaged the next day by a strike force of U.S. aircraft carriers in the Battle of the Eastern Solomons. Biggest news for Americans today came in a Navy Department announcement that a great sea and air battle has been raging in the Solomon area since last Sunday. The Japs have counterattacked in force and have evidently decided on a do-or-die effort to hold the initiative in the Southwest Pacific. United States warships engage the Japanese fleet off the Solomon Islands. The Japanese came from the north. Their main objective, to retake Guadalcanal Island and its strategically important airfield. It is a fight on a large enough scale to be decisive for that part of the world. Apparently, we were not caught by surprise, since the Navy says the attack was expected. Our own losses are not mentioned, and Japanese losses reported by the Navy were all accomplished by our planes, both land-based and carrier-borne. The battle was the third engagement in which air power decided the issue. The United States was victorious in preventing the convoy from resupplying Guadalcanal. The latest official report from Washington said the Japanese warships had broken off the action and retreated. The Japanese were now forced to attempt a piecemeal reinforcement of Guadalcanal at night via the Tokyo Express. The Battle of the Eastern Solomons was the first evidence that the island-hopping strategy to defeat Japan would work. I'm Ed Hurleyhe. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.